This is Ms. Parody, and in this video, we're going to talk about connecting variation, slope, and first differences. Essentially, what we'll be doing is bringing together all of the different tools that we've collected in this unit and bringing them all in to solve problems. So, the equation of the line has the form y equals mx plus b. This is the general form for any equation of a line. We know that the slope is represented by m, so we can substitute a value for slope in by using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And b represents the vertical intercept or initial value. So it's a value of the dependent value where the line meets the axis or where it meets the y-axis. And it's the value of the dependent when the independent is zero. So we can substitute values in for slope and the vertical intercept, keeping note that y is always our dependent variable and x is always our independent variable. Let's look at an example. The graph shows the relationship between the volume of gasoline remaining in a car's fuel tank and the distance driven. So as you can see, we have a line with a negative slope since it's falling downwards. And as distance increases, our volume is decreasing. And this makes sense because we're losing gas the more that we drive. So part A, find the slope, determine the vertical intercept, and then write an equation for this relation. So the only pieces of information we need to write the equation are the slope and the vertical intercept. So let's go ahead and find the slope. We're going to use the formula, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or rise over run. And to do this, we need to choose any two points on this graph. It doesn't matter which two points that we choose, as long as we choose two of them, and I've arbitrarily chosen 0, 0,65 and 239. So if we substitute those values into the formula, we have 39 minus 65 over 200 minus 0, which simplifies to negative 26 over 200, or negative 13 over 100. So this is the rate of change of the, of the volume of gas per distance driven. So we say that the rate of change is negative 13 over 100 liters per kilometer, meaning that on average the car uses about 13 liters of gas for every 100 kilometers driven. So this gives us our slope or m value of negative 13 over 100. Part B asks us to find the vertical intercept. Now the vertical intercept, when we have a graph, we can determine very easily because it's the point where the line touches the, depend the vertical axis or the dependent axis. So the vertical intercept is a value of v, so it's a dependent variable's value, or of v, sorry, when d equals zero, so at the point where it meets the line. So from the graph, we can see that this happens when v equals 65. This gives us that B equals 65. So now we're going to take this information and write the equation of the line. We always start off with the general formula, Y is equal to MX plus B. In this case, we have a dependent variable of V, so we substitute that in for Y, and an independent variable of D. So we just, sub we just changed our Y and X for V and D to represent this specific situation. We found in part A that our slope is negative 13 over 100 and in part B that our vertical intercept is 65. So we substitute those in for M and B and here is the equation representing the gasoline remaining in a tank. So bringing all of these tools together that we've gathered in the past unit, um, we're going to talk about the rule of four. And the rule of four is a way of representing a relationship in four ways. So we can talk about a linear relationship using words, a graph, a table of values, or an equation. Given any one of these representations, we should be able to switch back and forth to represent it the other three ways. So let's look at one example. Jack earns $25 per day plus $9 per 100 flyers he delivers. Use the rule of four to describe this situation. So the first situation that we're going to, the first rule that we're going to look at is a table of values. Using the, the question is already given to us in words. It's representing the situation in words, explaining exactly how much Jack is going to earn per flyer delivered. So if we start off our table of values. If Jack delivers zero flyers, he is still going to earn his base rate or initial fee of $25. Now for every 100 
flyers that he delivers, he's going to earn an additional $9. So if he delivers 100 flyers, he gets his base earnings of $25 plus 9 for the first 100 that he delivers, which is 34. Similarly, for 200 flyers, he gets his base rate of $25 plus $9 for each 100, each 100 group of 100 flyers that he delivers. And since he's delivered 200, that's multiplying 9 by 2. We can use a similar method to find the number, his earnings for $300, or 300 flyers. So there's our table of values. Let's now represent this using a graph. If we just take our values from our table of values on the previous screen here, we set up a graph, Jack's earnings. The dependent variable is his earnings. The independent is the number of flyers delivered. And we plot the four points that we found in our table of values. Now let's write an equation. So we know we need two pieces of information for the equation. We need the slope and the y-intercept. Before we do that, I'm going to substitute in that we've called our dependent variable e, so I'm going to change the y to an e and an x to the f to represent the independent variable. And we'll find the slope first. So we choose any two points on the graph. We've chosen the first point and the last point. So we have 52 minus 25 over 300 minus 0, which is 27 over 300, or if reduced, 9 over 100. We then need to find our B value, or initial value, and as you can tell, that's shown right here. When F is 0, E is going to be 25. It's so the initial value. So we know that B is equal to 25. Now that we have our slope and our y-intercept, our initial value, we can substitute it into our general equation. And we have that E is equal to MF plus B, or E is equal to 9 over 100 F, so the slope times the independent plus your initial value. So here we have Jack's earnings in words. He earns $25 a day plus $9 per 100 flyers using a table of values, an equation, and a graph. And this is using the rule of four to represent one situation.